Greetings discreet defenders. Well, tonight we are going to do a retest of the Hornady Critical Defense 22WMR 45 grain FTX round through the Black Widow, which is a two inch barrel mini revolver, more or less, made by North American Arms. And we're going to test it this time through two layers of heavy denim and two layers of cotton t-shirt. And we have a roughly 12 and a half inch gel block with a water jug backer. And in the past, these have stopped a little bit short. This is a slightly used gel block, but we're gonna run these, we're gonna run the critical defense right down the middle in between the uh, 22 LR tracks from earlier this evening. I predict, based on previous results, that the Hornadies will stop short of the end of the gel block, but they probably will expand because these are the new box, and I kind of wish I had saved some of the old box to show you. The new box feature a slightly re-engineered re hollow point cavity which I've shown you on camera before, but since we're doing the retest, not gonna make you look up the old video. I've got three in the widow, and we'll, uh, we'll see if we have room for all three, otherwise I might stop at two. All right, we got three holes. Looks like we have three captures. That one, the front of that one looks like it went to 11 inches. Looks like it expanded and inverted. This bullet here looks like it also expanded and inverted and stopped just at 11 and three quarters. Last but not least, if I can get the right angle on it here, looks like that third one actually went, uh, went the deepest. Yeah, full, fully 12 inches, I would say. And that one, I'm not sure. It, it looks like it lost a pedal. It's pretty deep in there. Let me just, let me just cut these in such a way that I can show you all three of them while they're still in the gel. Yeah, okay. Now this is what I'm talking about. They have expanded and gone inverted. They've flipped or tumbled, however you want to say that. And you can see, you know, one of those little uh, inserts, one of those little polymer tips, but all three of them have done more or less the same thing. The one that stopped the shortest seems to have expanded the most, although, let me just cut the, uh, Cut the gel again, because this is a cloudy, this is a third melt. Okay, there is that one, and there are the other two. And they've all kind of, I'll just zoom in a bit here. They've all, they've all expanded. They all penetrated fairly similarly. Although, as noted, this one stopped first. And then these two went closer to 12 inches, or in the case of this one, a little bit over 12 inches. And the expansion shows more or less why that might be. 
the one that expanded the most stopped the shortest. That one's actually, yeah, one of those is actually quite good. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the uh, I'm gonna put the caliper on those because I've got a brand new battery in the old digital caliper, the ML tools. Turn that on, and um, zero it out properly. And then uh, let's let's measure that uh, that expanded diameter. The narrow way this guy has expanded to over 33 caliber, and at the widest it's gone something over 40 caliber. So that's uh, that's a very impressive result. This uh, this one here, the widest is about 33, 34 caliber. The narrow direction, it's still gone, you know, 0.275 of an inch. How about this one? 30 caliber, expanded pretty evenly. About to 30 caliber. So these two penetrated the deepest, uh, a little either side of 12 inches. But uh, this guy expanded better. And all three tumbled for whatever reason and came to rest base forward in the gel like this. So, I guess you decide whether or not critical defense from the uh, North American Arms Black Widow is an adequate defensive combination for you. Okay, thanks folks, this is Dave for DDR. Have a great week.